Welcome to Miss Trini Treats. I'm Missy and today we are making these sweet little bunny meringue pops to kick off one of two Easter treats this year. I love working with meringue. It's just so easy and versatile to make. In the past, I have made meringue wings for both a unicorn and bat cake and also these beautiful rainbow rosette meringue pops. So it's easy to see why I have chosen once again to use meringue for this simple yet lovely Easter treat. First begin by pouring in your egg whites and beat until foamy. Add your cream of tartare and continue beating until soft peaks form. like this. Gradually add your sugar and continue beating until stiff peaks form. Now we're going to gently fold in our powdered sugar a little at a time. Add a little powdered sugar, fold it in, add a little powdered sugar, fold it in once again. And then just keep doing that until all of your powdered sugar is folded in. I don't know about you guys, but I love folding ingredients together. It is so therapeutic to me. I don't know why. I just love doing it. Place your tip number 2D in your bag to prep for piping. I dyed half of the batch pink and then added a few spoonfuls into my bag. So I found this trick online. What you do is you put some of your pink batter into your bag, squish the bag around a little, squeeze out the excess into a bowl, and then fill your bag with white meringue. I will show you what this does in just a second. Grab a cookie sheet and the printout, and you can choose to either cut it in half like I did or leave it whole with the bunnies facing the opposite ways. So I made this template like this so that you guys could use a bigger pan if you wanted to and then lay your sticks down first and then pipe your bunnies on top. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees and stick your parchment paper to the pan with a little bit of meringue in the top two corners. Next, pipe out your bunnies by outlining first, then fill them in, kinda ending with a rosette flower center. Here is where the pink comes in, and I know it's hard to see here, but the more you pipe, the more the pink starts to come through and create beautiful, subtle streaks. I top my bunnies off with some sprinkles that I had kicking around, and some pink sanding sugar on some of the others. Carefully pull out your templates, secure your parchment paper on the other end, and then place these in the oven for about two hours. Or you can do the alternative, which is to bake them for one hour, turn off the oven, and then leave them in the oven overnight. To add my sticks, I piped a stripe of candy melts along the back and pressed my stick into place. You're going to have to hold the stick in place with something while it hardens. I used the edge of a bowl to hold my stick so they dried straight. For gifting these little cuties, you can add a bow and a treat bag and you're done. So cute. I love these so much and hope you guys do too. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new here, we would love for you to subscribe and be a part of our trendy treat family. I love you guys and I'll see you next time when we make another trendy treat together. Bye guys.